It was a dark and spooky night inside of Unreal Engine, and you were wondering, how could you also make volumetric lights like this inside the engine and make it kind of feel a little bit more like a nighttime scene with this nice kind of light scattering? Well, we're gonna walk through it right now. So, let's get to it. If we look at the light, we have a spotlight here set to movable, and we have an exponential height fog. These are the two things that you're really gonna need to be able to pull off this effect. The first thing we're gonna look at is the options on the exponential height fog that allow us to do this kind of cool light scattering effect. So what you're gonna notice is, the very first thing we wanna do is scroll down to volumetric fog, and once we see this, we wanna make sure we check this on. You can see in my scene right here, if I toggle it off, nothing, and then this awesome volumetric. Again, there's a cost to this. This doesn't come for free, so be cautious if you're working on mobile or something very lightweight. The other two things I'm really doing, I'm changing the overall color of the fog. This is the in-scattering color, so if I come in here, you see if I make this brighter, it kind of brightens my whole scene up. Kind of ruins the whole effect, but if I put this kind of near black, kind of light blue, um, I kind of make it feel more like a nighttime scene. And the other thing I'm doing is setting the fog max opacity. So what happens here is if I start cranking this up again and see the, it kind of keeps adding um, color to the, to the light um, from the fog. And this isn't really the result I'm looking for. Maybe better for during the day, but um, at nighttime, not so much. So as long as you set this to anything above zero, you can see if I set it to zero, absolutely, it disables. The volumetric fog, it disables the fog altogether, obviously as an optimization. You want to be rendering something at a value of zero that you can't see. So if I just set this pretty low, some little 0.01 value, it gives us a kind of like nighttime feel. So those things between volumetric fog, these two settings, we're basically done with the height fog. We move on to our spotlight and you'll see Cadella range is pretty much normal, attenuation radius, I'll talk about that in a second. And the real kind of winner, chicken dinner of this, uh, little thing here is this volumetric scattering um, percentage. So you see as I pull this over here, this is the one that's controlling how much of this um, light scattering we're getting with the volumetric fog. So if again, I set this to the default, this is kind of what we're getting, which is a little bit, which is pretty realistic. If you wanna push it, you can pull this value higher. Um, by the way, it only goes to four, but you can type in. So we can set this to 12. Or if we want to get absolutely buck wild, we can set to 800 and really destroy the adaptive eye and all that stuff. So let's set it back to four for now. Um, again, the opposite is true. If you're ever working on a project with volumetric fog and this is not the visual you want and the client or the person you're working for, even yourself, uh, doesn't like that visual, we can just come in here and completely set it to zero. And you're gonna see that it's gonna completely disable that kind of volumetric look, which is awesome because that's exactly what we want. So let's just back to four. The one final gotcha I'll leave you with and uh, like a kind of a quick solution. You'll notice that um, we have the light, we have a floor plane. If I come below the floor plane, if you look carefully, you can see that the light is actually still penetrating through this object, um, through the floor. So just be aware that if you're ever seeing like weird ghosting appearing like through a floor or an object, um, with volumetric lighting, it doesn't seem to really be stopped uh, by the static mesh. So um, just be careful with your attenuation radiuses. I just pull it back up and in, and that, that solves the majority of the problem. So again, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any other questions on lightings or other videos you think I should cover, just add them. And if you found this useful, add a like. If you haven't subscribed, that helps a lot. Let's me know that what I'm doing, you guys like. So again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.